fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is another foundation review Friday. And today's foundation is a long anticipated, long asked for foundation review. And it is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Now, if you're not familiar with my foundation review series, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. But these aren't first impressions. This is someone who has tested the foundation out Monday through Friday for the entirety of the week. But spoiler alert, this foundation is a little different. I've had this foundation since September so this is months of testing out this foundation and pretty much spoiler alert it's been the only foundation that I've been trying this past few months. But I test this foundation out with different beauty blenders with different applicators to come on here and tell you guys what really works best with the foundation. Also I list every single shade I am and other foundations down below so you guys have a frame of reference for what I may be in Revlon Colors Day, what I may be in Urban Decay, what I might be in Maybelline. You guys have an overall idea of what I am in several different foundations. So without further ado, let's just get started on my review on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It is oil free. You do get one fluent ounce with this and I am in the color brulee. Now I was very late to Too Faced game. Now even my best friend Sasha who does not wear makeup at all. If you guys saw her in my Broccoli Fest video, she had this foundation. She doesn't wear any makeup. She has an eyeliner and that's it. But she had this foundation. I didn't even have it at that point. If you guys saw my swatch of all foundations I own. I own a lot of foundations. So for her to own something that I didn't even own, I thought that was weird. But she was like, I just walked in the store and they told me this was the best and I needed it. And I was like, okay, so my non foundation wearing friend is wearing quote unquote the best foundation and I don't own it. Oh, I got to get my hands on it. Now, if you see me look down at any point, I'm looking up the specs on it and just telling you what it says online. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. I have the shade brulee. It is $39. There are 35 shades there are 13 shades darker than brulee what it is an oil-free foundation that masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin with coverage so undetectable that you'll think you were born this way for the past few months I've been using anything between a beauty blender and a brush when applying this I just have a beauty blender on hand so that's what I'm going to use today I have very dry skin I have been having very very dry skin I even went to go get a facial the other day first ever facial because my skin was super dry and I needed to figure out what was wrong that's why I haven't been doing foundation reviews like that if you guys have noticed too just because my skin has been very dry and I didn't want to have an adverse reaction to a foundation just because my skin is acting weird so I got a facial if you guys notice I am breaking out in a few places because of that right dead center in the middle of my head which they said would happen so I have a very dry skin if you guys don't know so I like to use um, a hydrating primer today I'm going to use primer water and I say I've been dry skin and people are probably like well it's winter it's fall I was very dry in the summer which is kind of abnormal for me so yeah without further ado let's just get right into the application of this now I'm gonna apply my Smashbox primer water first I just applied two pumps I think this is a two pump is good enough type foundation So this is what it looks like fully applied. Let me get up in camera so you can kind of see. This is brulee. Very effortless blend. Very effortless formula. And I got a lot of questions while I was applying. I was thinking about my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation review. I got a lot of questions because in that video I mentioned I have people I look up to for foundation shade matches. And you guys asked me about that. I'll answer right now who I look up to in terms of foundation matches. I love Brandy Lofton. Pretty much in the beginning before I really got into the makeup game she was the person I go to who was my foundation skin match. Now we've been differing on some foundations but I think in a lot of foundations she's pretty much my shade match. I like the fancy face. She's also a very good shade match to me. I like makeup Shayla but typically I go two foundation shades lower than makeup Shayla. We're not exactly matches so typically she swatches a lot of foundations on her arm and typically she'll swatch two shades darker, two shades lighter. I'm typically two shades lighter than makeup Shayla but I love her application I like her reviews her reviews still stand even though we're not the same shade so if you guys ever want to compare and contrast shades and you feel like we're in the same shade family these are people I typically go to so 
I digress back to this foundation very effortless blend very effortless coverage very much so two pumps is all you need type of foundation this isn't one you're gonna have to build up if you even want an even fuller coverage you can go a little bit bigger if you want to but two pumps max is all I need for kind of an everyday kind of look also it works well for filming because right now if you guys can see on camera it just looks really good in terms of even and out skin tone but before I go into all of that let me just apply the rest of my face so I don't have raccoon eyes going on right now and I will be right back so now I am back after applying the rest of my face and this is kind of what it is giving you. Applies beautifully with the rest of my products, my blushes, my, my highlights, my contours and all that. Just blends effortlessly well with this foundation which I like. Spoiler alert from the top of this video, I said it at the very beginning. Love this foundation and it also has been the only foundation I've been wearing in my videos for the last few months. So if you guys seen any other videos from me, hair reviews and all that, I exclusively have this foundation on Urban Decay all nighter used to be my go-to filming foundation all my videos probably at the beginning of the year that's what I was wearing from then onward this is what I've been wearing and I have been uh, loving it but I hold my thoughts for the end I'll wear this foundation throughout the rest of the day and then come back and share with you guys how I overall feel about this foundation in a few hours so see you soon so now I am here for my final moments thoughts on this Too Faced Born This Way foundation now I have had it on for six hours I know that it doesn't seem long but we are now in the time where it gets dark at like five and it's now four I'm trying to beat the sun on this and get this video up for you guys but I've worn this foundation like I said for months on months on months so I know how it performs and I have to say it performs amazingly well I feel like this is my favorite foundation of 2018 I'll probably do a favorites video towards the end of the year but I this will be on my list for favorite foundation of 2018. I don't know why I was so late to the bus on this. As far as benefits go, I think it does have lasting power. I think you can put it on at 6 a.m., take it off at 10 p.m., and it'll look just so flawless. I like the fact that it's oil-free, which will be so amazing for you guys out there who are oily skin. But at the same time, it works well for us who have drier skin. Like I said, my skin has been on the driest that it's ever been in the last two months. And this has been continuously something that I reach for that hasn't left me feeling extremely dry that hasn't left me looking all patchy this has made me feel like I don't know my skin has a luminosity about it doesn't look dry doesn't look flat and I like that about this foundation so I think it wins for being multi-use it can be used for multiple different skin types I like the fact that you get one fluent ounce and I like the fact that it's $39.99 for one fluent ounce a lot of foundations a lot of the love foundations that I have are over $40 you know all of them know aren't foundation about $45 you know I love my Bobbi Brown that's what $40 50 60 dollars less expensive foundation I don't want to think about how expensive those are in comparison to this foundation that you get kind of a, a you know a frosted bottle it has that expensive look but it's not as expensive as some other foundations which is amazing I like the fact that there are 13 shades darker than my shade I like the fact that Jackie I'm paired with them to extend their shade range which is incredible you don't see a lot of people doing that or you see them doing it now but I like the fact that she paired with this foundation which overall has a good formula it just needed more shade and that's a amazing thing I was so hesitant to buy this at first when it first came out years ago because it said born this way I thought it was some Lady Gaga stuff at the time that this came out or I feel like a little bit before this came out Lady Gaga had them songs like born this way and all that and I swear I thought she was releasing a foundation so I thought it was gimmicky I thought it was like okay she said Lady Gaga got a foundation I don't care nothing about it so that's why I didn't buy it for a while it took me a long time to realize this didn't have anything to do with Lady Gaga and I get the idea that you you're supposed to be feeling like you're born this way in terms of the skin that you have and I, I kind of like that I really do it lets your kind of naturalness peek through it's medium to full coverage but I think it more so airs on the side of medium I, it's not as full coverage I would say as the uh, Urban Decay or the Becca full coverage I think you put those on one layer and yet you, and yeah done up your face is full full coverage I think this literally does have that medium to full where you're not feeling cakey you're not looking cakey you're not looking done up but overall 
do I recommend this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Going on my favorites list, I have to urge you guys out there to pick this up. It's not that expensive of a buy. And you guys know, I don't go hard for a lot of foundations. I feel like my last few foundation reviews have actually been pretty negative. But this is something that I do feel like is worth the coin and you need to have it in your collection. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you like this foundation, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram at leelamon89 and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss another foundation review Friday and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.